Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Do advisory shares get diluted? Many advisors want options they can exercise immediately, that's fine. If your company hasn't raised a Series A, increase the advisor's equity by roughly 30% to 50% to account for dilution from seed investors, Series A investors, option pools, swimming pools, and the like. How much should you pay an advisor for your company? Average annual compensation per advisor generally ranges from $1,000 to $6,000. Middle large private companies, either a per meeting fee and or an annual retainer. Average annual compensation per advisor generally ranges from $12,000 to $26,000. Public companies, includes board retainer, fees and stock options. How many advisors should a startup have? For that reason, I suggest having an advisor board of at least three people, one with experience in the industry, one with experience in the market, and one who is solely focused on growth. Again, they should come in with tons of experience, they should be action-oriented, and they should always be adding value. What is an advisor agreement? An advisory agreement should be used between a company and its advisor. The agreement sets forth the expectation of the relationship like work to be performed on behalf of the advisor and compensation. The agreement should also set forth certain key terms like confidentiality and assignment of work product. How much equity should you give to advisors? A good benchmark to consider is that your advisor should be receiving between 0.1% to 0.25% of the company because more often than not, advisors will only devote a small portion of their time to your company and may have conflicting commitments. What is the benefit of advisory shares? Advisory shares are an advantageous equity arrangement between startups and business experts. Rather than give up capital, new companies entice advisors to offer guidance while incentivizing them to help it grow over time per a predetermined vesting schedule. Do advisory shares have voting rights? Two of the primary types of stock are common shares, representing the majority of shares available across the market, and preferred stock, which typically guarantee a fixed dividend but do not have voting rights. One common class of stock is advisory shares. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.